Hello guys and welcome back on my channel. It's Jidolfo here. I help small businesses and entrepreneurs answer some of their questions by giving them useful tips for when they are trying to buy and start to resell products or when they are trying to design and manufacture their own products because they want to start their brand. If you missed my last video where I was talking about five tips to help you for when you buy products from China, please follow it in the link below or check it out in the description. On this video, I'm going to give you five more tips that would help you for when you buy products from China to resell. And just like I always say, these tips are not only meant for the Chinese uh, suppliers, but you can use them for anywhere where you buy your products from. You can adapt these tips to help you as you try to start your small business in buying and selling, or even as you try to design and manufacture your own products so that you can launch your brand. Without spending more time, guys, let's get right into it. Number six is consider sending physical samples. Number seven is knowing the name of the product that you want to buy, the way it's called in the industry. Number eight is your design is equal to your quotation. Number nine, share your budget. And number 10, the little things. Send physical samples. I found physical samples useful in the scenario where buyers are trying to either replicate an item, mass produce an item, or outsource the production of a certain item so they no longer have to do it themselves. Why you may want to send physical samples to suppliers and why they may ask for it sometimes is to understand exactly the specifications of this item which you're trying to replicate or mass produce and also in a situation where you're using a new supplier who is not very familiar with the market trends of your market it may be wise to send them a physical sample so that when they see the sample then they understand exactly all the components and what you'll be expecting it's a personal choice but it's one that has to do with people who want to be really precise with what they are trying to produce or what they are trying to buy. Confirm the industry name of the product that you're trying to buy or make. What this would mean is that for every product, there is a specific name that the people who are in this industry refer to it as. Take, for example, this scenario. My friend OG from Nigeria reaches out to me and is like, Hey, Jide, I'm trying to start to sell fabric. It's very good markets in Nigeria, so I want to buy and resell. And the popular fabrics that I want to buy from China are Dotty Dotty, Scuba, Senator, you know? And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So now the point there is this. In the Nigerian market, there's names that the local traders have given to these fabrics. But if you reach out to a supplier and say, oh, I'm trying to buy Scuba or Dotty Dotty or Senator, they don't know what you're talking about, right? So try to find out the names of these products according to the industry standard. Of course, for the Igbo trader who is in the market, the elastic fabric is the one he calls Dotty Dotty. The industry name would be Spandex. Your design is equal to your quotation. When you buy or make products, the specifications and the design which you give to the supplier determines the quotation and the price that they give you for making these products for you. Three things I recommend to help you here are, if you're buying things online, take for example, you're buying clothes, check the size chart for any of the clothes that you're trying to buy. Look out for things like the sizes in terms of, is it US size, is it EU size? Then compare these to the sizes that are trending in your market and the size that you want. If you're designing and making your own product, make sure you have the right professional make you the prototype design you what it is that you want to manufacture for some things you need professionals who design maybe in solid works or who draw designs and the last thing is samples make sure the supplier sends you back samples and when you receive the samples look at it and make the necessary adjustments before you move to mass production stage if you change the design or the specification at that time then it also affects the price which you had been quoted for so make sure to bear this in mind while you prepare to procure your products tip number nine your budget share your budget with your supplier why this can be helpful is that an experienced supplier would be able to look at the cost of raw materials and factors of production needed and tell you if the quality that you're looking to get at that budget is realistic or not 
also the other side of it is that you're doing your market research as well so at this time i would expect that you already would have an idea from other suppliers on what it costs to make the same product and then you can even compare and see what people are omitting or what people are adding and why the prices are different number 10 is pay attention to the small details the labels of these products things like insignias that special designs is there a crest on the product do you have some special feature or maybe special buttons you like to use these little things eventually will add up to the final cost of your product okay guys thank you for watching today's video and i hope you found it useful and i hope that you can adopt some of these tips as you begin to talk to your suppliers in nigeria china or wherever you source your products from also i have the pdf version available of this video if you want it please leave me a message in the comment section or drop me an email also i got your messages from some of you who asked me to make tips on certain topics and i promise you i'm going to be shooting you those videos very soon and for those who are just meeting me on this channel for the first time like share and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss when i post videos next time until we meet again guys my name is jidofo and please keep staying safe cheers